Bentornati alla radio per espatori alla prima arme. Or for our English listeners, welcome back to Nobs Explorer Radio. I get a My thoughts are too big. Join us this week as we continue heading south on the west coast of Sardinia, exploring the Sinis Peninsula and all of its natural beauty. A breach in my heart, it's raining down, baby. I'm like a river that's overflowed. The sooner you know it, the less do we hurt. Let me speak the truth. I know you don't want to face it. Think it's too late, but I can see past the rain. Won't you let We begin today's vlog in seclusion in a remote spot five kilometers down a dirt track at Torre Punta Foge. Let's make up a big bonfire on the We spent a few days on our own with the company of another farm dog that we affectionately called Cracker due to her love for cheesy biscuits. After running low on water and food, we had to leave this amazing spot. We made our way to the ruins of Caste Duetsu. We fell down to the bottom, so bottom up please. We're gonna get over this. I see the smoke in the mirrors. I'm holding the key. One step away from salvation You're like the... Phew, that's blown the bloody cobwebs off. I think it's sweated them off more than anything. We've been sedentary for a couple of days, so it's always nice to get outdoors and go on a hike and just get some fresh air in your lungs. But I think choosing to do it in the middle of the day's sun, probably not the best choice. Yeah, we wanted the exercise and we kind of knew we wouldn't necessarily come back here. So yeah. we took we took the ball by the horns and we're baking a little bit. We have got sun cream on though. Oh, a lot of sun cream. It is a steep walk up to this castle, but it's quite short. So our water's all topped up and it come out beautifully cold out of the well and it kind of shocked you because we haven't had proper chilled water in a while. <laughs> it was so, so nice. Like, yeah. it comes to something when you're excited about bloody well water, but hey ho. It's very, very welcome and it's doing quite a good job in our little chilly flask. Jobby. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. So we've been out on the open road for a few weeks now and we can happily report that we are back feeling more confident than ever. Yeah, I think so. Um, that anxiety of driving through small towns and getting out to fill our water and uh, go shopping or just come on a hike, it's kind of dissipated. We're still being sensible. Obviously everyone here is still wearing masks when we need to and social distancing, but the fear of being a, t a tourist or a f a essentially a foreigner mm. in another country during a pandemic, that sort of at least for now, it's dissipated. And like Meg said, I think we're feeling sort of more chilled than ever. Yeah, I don't know. really relaxed, really confident, and just, we're back on it, but in yeah. the best way ever. It's, it's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> it's just a shame that we've got to head home pretty soon <laughs> because we've got like a new lease of life. I think in a weird way, the lockdown sort of gave us time to as assess what we've done, mm. really take a big long break from traveling because it does weirdly get a little bit tiring. Yeah, um, I don't think you you appreciate moving every day and seeing all the beautiful things that we've seen along the roads. Yeah, you can't like take it all in and, and appreciate it. Yeah. And I think even putting passion into making our videos, I think now we've come back on the road, I'm really keen to film as much as possible, if just for our memories more than mm. sharing it. But I've got like a rekindled uh, desire to film it and do a good job and just make these memories into something that we'll look back on in years to come and just sort of re-stoke the fire. Yeah, and I think Sardinia will forever be that place where the fire's been reignited. Yeah. Anyway, enough for us, let's get on with our day. We haven't really planned very much, to be fair, but... Uh, no, that's not like us. We've got a nice beach in mind for later, maybe an epic sunset, maybe a little sunset moment later. And we're probably going to need to have a swim, actually, because it's rather warm. <laughs> we're reaching low 30s I think today already. The van's a little bit stifling in the cab but with the windows down you can just about take the edge off as long as you're moving. <laughs> yeah so let's get a roll on and see what else there is to see. So we've made it to Sarkitu. It's a lot 
more touristy and busy than we had imagined it so this might be a little bit of a quick little have a looky sit on the beach for a minute and then find a spot that's a little bit more secluded and quiet because we're just not used to this we managed to find a less crowded spot and couldn't resist cooling off i think it's time to take a dip cal are you going to be jumping from off the uh, off the top of the cave probably a double backflip to swan dive oh. but i'll uh I would, but I've just watched watch me air. Yeah, me too. I'll just I'll crawl in this way. <laughs> nice. That'll do. That'll do nicely. This is prime snorkeling territory. Pity we left it in the van. Typical. So that was busy but very refreshing. I'm very glad we both got in and um, the, the water was so clear, it's ridiculous. But now it's off to find a campsite for tonight. It's a campsite, camping spot, probably wild. I've got a couple in mind, but we'll see what we find when we get there. I'm hoping for something wild on top of the cliffs for a sunset moment, like I said before, um, but we'll see. You can never really tell what you're gonna get on part for night. So we'll go and check it out. A 20 minute drive transported us to another exceptional wild park up. The beauty of this island is unreal, it just doesn't seem to end. It is not long till sunset so I'm going to get cracking and we'll have a bit of a evening dinner with sunset moment, we might even crack open a little gin or something. So there we have it, just in time for the sunset. <laughs> that was a pretty quick preparation of the dinner on your part, well done. Thank you. Uh, the sun was setting very quick, so uh, a little bit of a rush, but it's absolutely lovely here, as I'm sure Meg's already said. Lighthouse, that is actually, you can see the light on the top. Mm. Very pleasant spot. Cheers. Mm. Do excuse us while we uh, watch the sunset. Good morning, we had a very restful sleep here. We weren't uh, moved on or anything, which I was slightly concerned about, but it's been a really, really lovely spot. We spent the night here all on our own pretty much, but we've got a, uh, we've got a few neighbors this morning. But now we're gonna go have morning coffee on the rocks next to the water. <sighs> Bistol. What a way to start a day, eh? What, it's about 20 odd degrees already? Bit of a breeze, but another stunning view, crystal clear water. We might get in later. Meg's got the snorkel ready and we're charging the GoPro, so might want to make the most of it. But there are a few sea urchins again, and it's a bit rocky down there. So we'll, uh, we'll have to see what happens. But today's going to be pretty chilled out. We've got some shopping to do because we're quite low on rations. And then we're just going to visit some more beaches and do some more wild camping, hopefully. Like we said, we're really just in the groove at the minute. Just really relaxed and enjoying it but a lot of you have noticed that in the comments and said how relaxed and chilled we are and i don't know it's just just is in it yeah. don't want it to end <laughs> no right then packed up and ready let's go and explore the cines peninsula let's rock and roll We stopped off at Mare e Ermi, one of the top beaches on the island, but as you can see it was far too busy. At this point we realised it was a Sunday. A sunny Sunday is not the day to explore top attractions. Instead we headed down the coast a few more miles to the next one. 
another popular beach, Spiaggia di Izarutas. We managed to find a spot on the rocks where we could safely social distance from the crowds on the white sand beach. We came prepared this time with the snorkel and the GoPro. In the heat of the midday sun, we bathed in the turquoise water. So we left that uber busy beach a couple of hours ago and we've driven down a dirt track a couple of minutes, maybe up to 10, to find a more wild and quieter and more importantly free car park which we have managed to find and it's a couple of hours later now and it's clearing out. Um, we've kind of just sat and had a little siesta didn't we love? Yeah, kind of didn't do much at all, we did have grand plans but kind of been zonked I think the sun's taken it out of us we had a bit of a swim earlier um, and we're just hoping that we can stay here it's sort of like this is definitely a lot more trickier to get to mm. there's still a lot of people down here but I assume they don't charge because this is more out of the way um, there's no signs prohibiting camping from what I can see and no. there are a lot of vans here I mean granted a lot of them are heading home but it is Sunday yeah. evening so you know are well, they just going back so the beach is right there and I'm sure we'll explore that in the morning before we leave I've place. had an idea actually mm -hmm. Should we get up for sunrise? Or early? And get this beach with no one on it because it is beautiful. It's What time sunrise? <laughs> it's white sand <laughs> and sea pearls. They're like tiny weeny little pebbles. It might be quite nice because the last few mornings um, has been very hot. Yeah. That's what wakes us up now. I'm up. We've not been the early risers, are we? But I'm up about eight, half eight, just because I can't take the heat. I have to undo the windows yeah. and just get some. Uh, I mean, we could be doing more, I think, to keep the van yeah. cooler, but we have been suffering with mosquitoes for the last couple of nights, so it's not really worth the effort. Yeah. So, we will see you tomorrow morning if we can get our butts out of bed early enough. Tomorrow should be a good day. We're hoping to do some touristic things if yeah, they're open, yeah. if it's safe to do so, and just explore a bit more of this like peninsula. Indeed. It's been great so far. I mean, Sardinia just, just is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> just a few more tourists this week, which is very strange. Good morning, it is 6.30, that's the sun, <laughs> we didn't quite get <laughs> we didn't quite get up for sunrise because it looked a little bit miserable but we're up now, it's a lot earlier than we normally would and it looks rather stunning. It didn't look this beautiful at six o'clock this morning, so I am quite glad we uh, hit the snooze button, but I'm glad we got up. It looks beautiful. As a treat for getting up so early, I've made us some fried breakfast. I know we've said we have gone vegetarian, but we were having cravings for some meat so I bought some sausage that were on special offer so we got a bit of sausage, fried egg and some bread but the plates are in the washing up from the other night so it's in bowls so it's just been really lazy plus we want to try and get to a Roman ruin for about nine o'clock and it's only half past seven at the moment so I don't even know what's going on Good grief, that breakfast was lovely, Megan. What? Is that not the right terms? Good grief. Don't call me Megan, that's not my name. <laughs> right, so we are plumbing in the coordinates to get to the Roman uh, ruins. And I just hope that we don't fall asleep because that breakfast has absolutely wiped me out. I've gone very lethargic. Mm. I did a bit of research. Sardinians and Italians in general don't really do breakfast. They just do coffee 
have a big lunch with a siesta and then something like for din like like for dinner or tea which at the moment we're really starting to struggle with the heat of an evening mm. and the mosquitoes the doors need to be shut and yeah. it's literally like salads and like antipasti platters isn't it so we just had two and, a, two and a half big sausages each an egg and some bread and i'm ready for siesta <laughs> We're not used to waking up early either, so it's all a bit of the body just doesn't know what's going on today. But we're looking forward to it, um, and yeah, just see what happens. The Sinis Peninsula is a wild and natural landscape, an unspoiled Eden full of wildlife with a protected marine area and archaeological marvels. To the south, the narrow strip of land known as Capo San Marco stretches out into the Gulf of Oristano. It's a top spot for water sports and flamingo spotting. So we have parked up and we are about to go and check it out Faros. Prepare for another Meggy history lesson. Let's go. Pharos was founded by the Phoenicians at the end of the 8th century BC. It became one of the most important cities in Sardinia. Even today you can witness the Roman basalt pavements and ruins of the public buildings. In the last century, English and French archaeologists have excavated the site. Some of the artefacts discovered from Tharos can be found in the British Museum in London. Well, that's a relief. We've just come back up this hill because we noticed this huge amount of smoke coming out from what felt like very close to our van. We were having palpitations thinking that it was the whole van on fire, but... <laughs> that wasn't a nice feeling, was it, for a few seconds? So I don't know if you can see the fire is just about here, and the van is there. So I'm hoping it's a controlled burn. I think it is, but that was kind of a horrible feeling for a minute or two, wasn't it? I'm wondering if like, we'd left the gas on or <laughs> the batteries have exploded. We Everything is, that we've done is safe, but there's still that horrible feeling that... Yeah. So it's a very interesting trip around Tharos, but now Cal has demanded that we take a dip, which it's probably only about half past ten, but it's very, very warm today. Fancy a spot down there, love? I don't know about you, but I am absolutely sick and tired of seeing beautiful beach after beautiful beach after beautiful beach. Is that all Sardinia is? Well, no, because Meg's brought me to somewhere rather special, San Salvatore. It used to be a fishing village back in the day, but since the 1960s, there's been a creation of uh, quite a few single story little houses that have been used in numerous spaghetti westerns over the years. So uh, let's go have a look. Yeah. I just hope that this town is big enough for the both of us. I don't even know where that reference is from. <laughs> San Salvatore has been the set for Arizonian and New Mexico villages, and most famously featured in the 1968 film Garter Colt. In September, the village celebrates the barefoot race Corsa de Escalci. This is a place you can visit for absolutely free. I think you've just got to be cautious of not annoying the locals, but look how, look how cute and quaint it is.
And as if by magic, we are back where we started this morning, back at the lovely beach. Um, there's not that many wild camping spots in this little vicinity, so since though we found a good one, we thought we may as well come back to it. We're hitting civilization tomorrow in the next few days, so we're gonna probably stop vlogging and just take a few days off, aren't we? So yeah. this feels like a good place to wrap it up. Today I'm really, well, I'm just tired now, I just wanna go to sleep. I'm not sure if that's fully due to the early wake up call. Uh, we've been swimming a couple times today and like the last few days have been really good, but yeah, just ready for a bit of a siesta for a couple of days. Yeah. <laughs> so we've listened to all of your lovely comments on our last video, which was a slightly longer one. So I think this one will be edited in a longer format. The last two or three have been really jam packed. My arm, your turn. No, take it off. On, you're a professional vlogger. No. <laughs> Go on, hold it. I've Go got on. a switch. You can get the staff around here. We've got lots more of Sardinia to see, to cram in, in over the next month or so, hopefully, fingers crossed. And we're just loving it. I'm yeah. pretty sure we said earlier on in this video a couple of days ago how chilled out and relaxed and how much we're enjoying it at the moment. And mm. we just want it to continue, but. Yeah, so thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, what are you doing? And make sure you press that bell button. Thanks for watching once again, and we'll see you in the next one.